Hello, and welcome to another edition of Ask the Professor, a feature in which we answer your questions on everything from history to current events, economics, political philosophy, culture, architecture, all those things that concern us in our efforts to build a good society together. Right, and now apparently Stephen King, the famous author, has written in a tweet uh, what he sees as a main difference between Barack Obama and Donald Trump, and he's not very much a fan, evidently, of the second one. And he says the main difference between the two men is that Donald Trump does not have a sense of humor. And he says that this is going to really be the the, the key difference between the two presidencies. And Andre wanted to have your opinion on that. I think that he's right, and I think that it matters a great deal. As some people who have a passing familiarity with my work may be aware. I'm a huge fan of G.K. Chesterton. No. G.K. Chesterton was enormously funny. And at one point he was criticized for this and he said that his critic thought that the opposite of funny was serious. But in fact, the opposite of funny is not funny mm -hmm. and nothing else. And at another point, Chesterton said, wit is the soul of brevity. That humor gets a reaction because of the way that it illuminates truth so starkly and so immediately, not because of the fact that it's frivolous or silly. Humor of that sort fails entirely. And I think this matters. I think it matters particularly with political leaders because if they cannot see what is funny about themselves, they fail to perceive some of their crucial flaws. Apparently Trudeau Sr. had this problem at the Parliamentary Press Gallery dinner, which in those days was off the record and, you know, pretty Probably better rowdy. off for it, yeah. Uh, he had to have the jokes about him explained to him. Oh dear. Now, in saying all this, I do have to inject a curious qualifying note. Barack Obama seems to me to be genuinely cool. He's a really cool person. He was also a terrible president. Somehow or other, although he did seem to have a reasonable degree of wit, and in some ways I think he even saw funny things about himself. His, he and his wife said that if their daughters ever got tattoos, he and Michelle would get the same tattoo in the same place and put it online. That's funny. And it's funny because it would have stopped the kids dead in their tracks. And yet, <laughs> I'm somehow, thinking of using that too, yeah. Obama did not see the grave, grievous flaws in his policy and in his political style that you'd think a sense of humor would help you find. But having said all that, let me come back to Stephen King's key point. I don't think Donald Trump does have a sense of humor. The capacity to make a cruel vaguely witty observation about somebody else. And I don't say on the whole that Trump even managed to be witty, but that's not a real sense of humor. A real sense of humor is when you join in the joke and Trump doesn't see himself as preposterous. You say, I, I wrote Trump off. I repeatedly said he wouldn't be the Republican nominee. It never occurred to me that he could be elected president. And that, when the election was held, made me a pundit in chump sauce. See, I see, it's funny. It's funny that I should be so sure of myself and so abysmally wrong. That's welcome to the human condition. I have to try harder next time. But I get the fact that I look ridiculous. Trump never seems to understand that what is with that hair? Right. That and the orange spray thing on tan. Face, yeah. The incredible crudeness, the vulgarity, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the fact that he says one thing and does another, the fact that he is so full of himself and sees so few of his failings. This man is now the chief executive of the United States government. He now has his finger on the button. Does it matter? It matters enormously. Can he surround himself with good people? I hope so. Can they laugh at their boss? I hope so. Do they have to do it in private? I hope not. They should be able to twit him to his face about his failings. Because otherwise, he's, how is he going to know what he's doing wrong? And when I look at Donald Trump, I see much that is not funny but tragic in his potential to mishandle the presidency. I'm still glad Hillary Clinton lost. I wanted them both to lose and the rules didn't permit that. But yeah, Trump cannot laugh at himself and that is not a recipe for putting a smile on anybody else's face either. Let me add a twist to this because you said at some point that he doesn't seem to see what's wrong with him. My fear is that he doesn't think there's anything wrong with him. Yeah, and, and he's, he's terribly, terribly uh, sensitive to the smallest Any criticism, slight. Right. He could not be gracious about Meryl Streep. Right. And, and, and the result was that he said she was a lousy actress when in the past he said he greatly admired her. Mm -hmm. it, it undermines his coherence that he cannot say, isn't this a great country where a famous person can ridicule and abuse the president in public with no fear of retribution? Right. That would have been a dignified reply. We could have just ignored it. It was Lewis Meyer of MGM about some hostile critic, pay no attention to him, don't even ignore him. But Trump cannot do that. And how can you conduct diplomacy when your skin is that thin? I mean, spray on some orange armor, please. But try to do it with a smile.
All right. So then you agree with Stephen King? Yes. All right, then. Thanks for that. Donald Trump, president, a horror story. <laughs> Maybe he'll write the book. Oh, dear, that would be scary. All right. Well, thanks for that, folks. If you would like to play along and ask your question of the professor, go to the URL on your screen and everything there will be explained. Thanks and see you next time.